In this video, we will hack a multimeter and make it rechargeable, particularly this cheap clamp multimeter. So let's start hacking. Subscribe. Very good. This multimeter needs two AAA batteries in series for it to work. So to make it rechargeable, just buy a rechargeable battery and it's done. You now make it rechargeable. But in this video, we will use this Li-Ion battery because nowadays it's popular to power electronics. So why not use it? Now, you might experience this to your multimeter. This battery sign, this means your multimeter battery needs to be replaced because as we can see the multimeter is not functioning properly. So we know that this typical battery is 1.5 volts, we knew. So two of it in series is 3 volts, which is the voltage needed by the multimeter. But we have a problem. A Li-Ion battery when fully charged, its voltage is 4.2 volts. And when discharged, it's about 3 volts or less. And my battery now is 3.66 volts, which is about halfway discharged. Meaning to say, it's not as easy as connecting it directly to the multimeter because we know it needs 3 volts. So, we will need to step down 4.2 volts to 3 volts. So obviously, we need a step down converter, aka back converter. But the problem is that, if we search for back converters online, they only starts to work at 4.5 volts. This is too high. You might say use a voltage regulator IC like this, but nope, it still doesn't work. Because for example, we input a 5.5 volts to this 5 volts regulator. So it should convert 5.5 volts to 5 volts, right? Fail because it only start to work properly when the input voltage is 1 volt or more higher than the output and it is called its dropout voltage. So the final solution to our problem is, is to use a, a low, low dropout, dropout voltage, voltage regulator, regulator or LDO for short. So you need to buy a 2.8 volts regulator like this because I think there's no 3 volts regulator. All right. But in my case, I built my own LDO regulator, so which is based from this circuit. I found online so big thanks to Rod Elliot who shared the circuit. So I modified the circuit into this and built it from scrap SMD components. So now it's finished. It has three terminals just like a normal regulator. We input 4.2 volts and boom, we now have 3 volts even if we lower the input to let's say 3.2 volts, boom it's still 3 volts. So I finalized the schematic into this. This is the charging module with BMS, this will properly charge and provide protection for the battery. Then a main switch to totally turn it off. So now we find ways here to place these components inside the multimeter. So I place this charging module here and made a hole for it. And again, find ways to be able to mount it nicely. Now I had glued it here and also the main switch and also guys, we need to change the resistor here based on this table. I'm using a 600 milliamp our battery so I think 3.3k is safe for the battery and now my battery perfectly fits here and now I connect its positive to B plus and negative to B minus and our homemade LDO we put it here so it's done let's test it and we still see the 3 volts so next, I finally connect it to the multimeter and just like that, the multimeter works without any problems. So, and power it on, the voltage still remains at 3 volts. So it's indeed regulated. So I, in, so I return the screws and boom, 
This is now a rechargeable clamp multimeter. Continue to check. You can see I also added some labels to make it look a little bit legit. And of course, it charges without a problem whatsoever. And that is how to make your multimeter rechargeable. Actually guys, this black multimeter is also rechargeable. It's the same concept but this multimeter originally needs 9 volts batteries. So, so just buy a boost converter for this that works at 3 volts. If you like this video, please click like, share, and subscribe. Do it now guys. Very good. When turned on, it consumes 3.38 milliamps of current on average. So we divide 600 milliamp hour with 3.38 milliamps. So it will run for this number of hours. Assuming we use this multimeter 4 hours a day. So it can reach approximately up to 44 days in one charge.